If I had to choose one video that best describes the honey badger, it would be this one, taken by a random person somewhere in the African savanna. We see our protagonist in a chokehold of a huge python. If the honey badger is still alive, then these are his last moments, because he's about to get swallowed by the python. The honey badger does not give up and tries to break free from the embrace of death, which in itself is quite unique because the muscles of great constrictors are so strong that they instantly cause cardiac arrest or suffocation in their victims. We also see an opportunist jackal who is interested in a piece of meat regardless whether it be from the honey badger or the snake. Perhaps it is he who causes the python's muscles to relax? Anyway, the honey badger manages to break free. What does he do next? Does he run away? For a split second, he seems to be slightly stunned. Then he proceeds to attack. He bites the snake again and again until he finally manages to kill it. He chases away the competition and drags the snake into the thicket, where he intends to consume it in peace. The honey badger was entered into the Guinness Book of Records as the world's most fearless animal. What's it really like? Crazy? Immortal? Or maybe just clever and intelligent? Find out in today's episode. Look at this video. Two honey badgers are being released into the wild in front of cameras. Cameramen, sound engineers and all the observers took convenient places. The partition went up and everyone was waiting tensely for the animals. <laughs> of course, the honey badgers eagerly ran towards freedom, but before they did, they also let us know that if necessary they would fight for it and chasing after them would be pointless. The message of the honey badger is short. It doesn't matter if you're bigger. Leave me alone or I will fight. The story about the honey badger should start with the fact that it is small. Its size is similar to that of a domestic cat. And in nature, it often has to deal with much larger predators, such as lions, hyenas, leopards, African wild dogs, and all the rest of the wild African menagerie. Its widest and main native range is Africa. In such an environment, the fight for survival is particularly difficult. Every day you can become a victim of a predator larger than yourself, and you often encounter other threats such as poisonous snakes and scorpions. In short, living among African beasts, especially when you are small, is not easy. In order to survive here, you need to make the most of every advantage, and it's best to add a bit of cunning to it. Honey badgers put it all into practice. Not only people, but animals also know that attack is their best form of defense, and the honey badger even made this premise its main rule of conduct. In this recording, we see the king of the African savanna, the lion, who saw an opportunity for an easy meal in the form of a small animal and went in its direction. Unfortunately, that animal is a honey badger, which apparently has other plans for tonight than becoming someone else's dinner. An animal that instead of running away, turns around and tries to attack the aggressor always causes consternation, because this is not the reaction that big predators are used to. Usually, animals run away from them in panic, which is a clear signal that they should be chased even faster. However, if the victim attacks, there must be some reason for it. Maybe it has spikes, venom, or worse, and it's better to be safe than sorry. What is the deal with the honey badger? Does it have any secret weapon? Here we come to another important point. The courage of the honey badger, although it must be admitted that it is very impressive, does not only resolve from complete madness, but also has some quite solid foundations. The phenomenon of the honey badger's belt is its very thick and stiff skin, especially on the back and neck. Its thickness reaches a third of an inch, 8 millimeters, and in combination with dense and hard bristles, it's almost bulletproof. Reportedly, on the back and neck, the honey badger's skin is resistant to spear and machete strikes. 
In this video, we can see that the honey badger also doesn't care much about the threats of the porcupine, whose quills cause deep and painful stings. Even when the porcupine charges with its spikes, the honey badger does not retreat. It probably found something to eat and is not going to give it to anyone. However, the confrontation between the honey badger and the porcupine can have much bigger consequences, as evidenced by this photo. What happened there? Did the porcupine survive? We can only guess. Thus, the skin of the honey badger is something like a chainmail, which was used by the knights in the Middle Ages to protect against swords and spears. This skin, apart from being thick and hard, is also protected from the bottom with a layer of fat, which makes it loose and mobile on the animal's body. Thanks to this construction, a honey badger grabbed by the neck can twist inside the predator's jaws and initiate a counterattack. Here we come to the etymology of the name honey badger, also simply called ratel, formerly even a bee wiener dog. The latter name seems quite funny today, but it intuitively describes the appearance and the preference of the honey badger. All these names emphasize one feature of the animal in particular, namely that it loves honey and eagerly plunders wild hives. With such a taste, the honey badger simply has to be stingproof. Firstly, it's difficult for bees to sting through hard skin covered with stiff bristles, but even if they succeed, the honey badger has some resistance to the effects of the venom, thanks to which it can endure the attack of enraged bees for longer. Rattels also tolerate the venom of scorpions and snakes quite well, even such highly venomous as a cobra or black mamba, which the honey badger willingly hunts. Sometimes it happens that a highly toxic venom enters its bloodstream. For such a small animal, it should be lethal. Situations have been observed in which a honey badger accidentally bitten during an attack on a cobra fell into an hour-long nap, woke up, and finished eating its prey. The venom is apparently not indifferent to the rattel, but it gets quickly neutralized. Perhaps the fact that young honey badgers come into contact with toxic substances at an early stage of life, while they are fed with poisonous animals, may be of importance here. The honey badger's defense arsenal is not only its thick skin and venom resistance, but also consists of chemical weapons similar to those used by a skunk. In moments of danger, the honey badger can shoot a strongly foul-smelling substance towards the attacker, which is to discourage him from engaging. Probably, this substance is also used by the rattel while plundering wild beehives and has a calming effect on bees. In the color of the honey badger, you can see a similarity to the skunk. Such expressive, contrasting colors, in this case black and white, are very often in nature a warning signal for potential attackers. They are easy to remember and a predator will avoid them in the future if he associates some unpleasant memories with them. This association is so strong across the savanna that cheetahs famously evolved to imitate the look of adult honey badgers as kittens. The undoubted advantages of the honey badger are also its very long and strong claws, ideal for digging in the ground and plundering wild hives, but they can be very useful during fights with larger animals. The weapons also include strong jaws, which can even crush the hard shell of a tortoise. Finally, one more thing should be added to the arsenal of the honey badger, easy to omit, and certainly very important, if not the most important of all things, namely, cunning and intelligence. All researchers of this animal and employees of animal rehabilitation centers can testify. Rattels demonstrate a high level of problem-solving ability and even tool-handling skills. In short, it is very intelligent. In this video, we can see how he moved the container to get to the food. Many more such examples of this animal's creativity have been observed. They are notoriously hard to keep contained and therefore are rarely kept in zoos. They can escape by digging, climbing, building ramps, and even coordinating the picking of two locks 
simultaneously. When we put it all together, we get a picture of a small but quite well-armed and above all, smart and intelligent animal. Let's look at this video. A young honey badger was captured by a leopard, a much larger and very dangerous predator. Fortunately for the young honey badger, his mother was nearby and she did not hesitate to save him. When we look at such scenes, the thought of the courage of the honey badger comes into mind, because the fact that the honey badger has thick skin and other advantages does not make it immortal. The honey badger very often goes all in, not because he is safe. After assessing the situation, he is simply taking necessary risks. In fact, honey badgers very often die in the jaws of lions or leopards. On the web, we can find many recordings showing the courage of the honey badger and these recordings enjoy the highest viewership. But believe me, there are also many recordings showing the ultimate demise of the honey badger, even among those I included in today's video. An earlier scene where a honey badger was in the jaws of a leopard in a tree ended in a failure for the honey badger. Also in this video, we see a honey badger that failed to get out of the jaws of the lioness. So, does the honey badger not deserve the title of the most courageous and fearless animal? Nothing like that. Failures of the honey badger all the more testify to its courage and fearlessness. That's all for today. Thank you for your attention. See you next time. Ha, ha, ha.